I hereby call the meeting of the Brockton City Council for Monday, February 10th, 2020, 7 p.m. to order. Please stand and um, join me in saluting our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, before we begin, um, I just want to make an announcement to all of you as well as everyone at home. Due to technical difficulties, um, the City Council meeting this evening will not be live on BCA. Um, the matter is being taken care of. It, it's a situation with some equipment that needs to be repaired. So they are doing their best to get our meeting posted on um, on TV. I believe that as of tomorrow it should be up and um, up and running. And um, I believe from my understanding, it's going to take a few weeks before this uh, issue is taken care of. So our meetings will not be live for the next few weeks. Okay, Mr. Clerk. We have the acceptance of the minutes of January 27, 2020 City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. We have the petition of Verizon New England Inc. requesting permissions to lay and maintain underground conduit with the wires and cables to be placed therein under the surface of the following public way or ways. Petronelli ways, place two four foot PVCs, 205 feet each of conduit from existing manhole number five easterly to a customer place conduit going to the new parking garage at 31 Petronelli way. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please come forward. Please state your name to the clerk. Uh, my name is Ross Billadu, representing Verizon New England. Uh, as you stated, uh, Verizon is looking to place two four inch PVC conduits, uh, approximately 205 feet in length from an existing manhole, number five at the intersection of Main Street and Green Street, up Petronelli Way to connect to some customer placed conduit that will be running to the new parking garage going in. Any Council, Council Fowler? Yeah, just, uh, sir, I spoke with, uh, <coughs> Robert Jenkins from the Brockton Redevelopment Authority today, and he happened to have Robert <coughs> Kelly, the executive director of the Parking Authority, with him. They they don't understand the reason for this. That that there's already been an installation made. They are all ready to operate. They're hooked up with with the necessary connections through our IT. So is this additional work that's being done, or is this work that's already being done? Because uh, and and uh, Madam uh, President, uh, Mr. Jenkins couldn't be here tonight because he had a conflict, conflict with a meeting. Otherwise, he would have come in so that people could ask questions. But they, they didn't understand why this was being requested. Sure. Um, that's a good question. I have never spoke with Mr. Jenkins or anyone on this matter. I'm just coming to represent Verizon. Um, it was my understanding that there was some relocation of some existing lines that this might have to do with. I don't know if it's necessarily to provide service or anything for the parking garage. I think it's to do with Verizon's existing network. Uh, so are we the customer? When you said a customer placed, is it is it for the city, allegedly? Sorry, no, I believe that, that well, if you're saying the parking authority is a city-owned entity, yes. then it would be connecting to conduit placed by the city-owned entity. Okay, he here's what I think may have happened, and sure. it doesn't bother me. I'm wondering if the work was done, and then someone in your office said, oh, geez, you know, I think maybe we should have gone to the city council and gotten approval, and if that's the case, I don't care. I mean, you know, you folks did what you were supposed sure. to do because Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Um, Malley vouched for it. Uh, I just don't know whether we should approve something if we don't know whether it's additional or not because they they told me that they do not need any additional work being done by Verizon. They're all set. I mean, this is the, this is a hearing. This is the Council, what's your pleasure? Do you want to table it or postpone it or? Is there any problem on your end if this were tabled and uh, and it were brought up no, in a future we could, meeting? Yeah, no, if we can clear that postpone. issue up, then 
Would you want just postpone, postpone it. You can postpone it. Entertain a motion to postpone. Then I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion to postpone to the next city point council of, meeting. Point of order I, or inquiry. I, do we have to finish the hearing first? Um. You can finish the yeah, go ahead. You can finish the hearing, I suppose. Okay. And then make a motion. So you'll have to retract the motion, Councilor. If, if I would just say, uh, Madam uh, President, if we if we continue the hearing, I would still invite the gentleman to come in. That's all. Okay. So you're ret you're retracting your motion. I'll, uh, I'll withdraw the uh, request to postpone. Make a motion to postpone the hearing until two weeks. Second. And invite in Mr. Jenkins at the same time. Okay. okay. All in favor. Keep the hearing open for two weeks. Okay. All those in favor? All those opposed? Hearing's postponed. The hearing's postponed for the until two <coughs> weeks. Sure. Thank right. you. Thank you for your time. <coughs> we have the petition to Giovanni Albanese, 196 Manley Street, LLC, of 61 Sylvia Lane, Dragut, Mass., for a garage license located at 196 Manley Street. In City Clerk's Office, November 21st, 2019. Hearing is signed for February 10th, 2020. All paperwork on file. Fire Department has no objections. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and state your name. Good morning, uh, good morning. Good evening, uh, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Clerk, members of the council. Attorney John McCluskey representing um, Equipment East, uh, the principals of Giovanni Albanese and his wife Gilda. And um, they're in the business of selling uh, new heavy equipment. They have a place um, on the North Shore and a place in, in uh, New Hampshire. Uh, they run a top-notch uh, operation. And what they do, what they're proposing to do here at 196 uh, Manley Street is to purchase the building, uh, rehab the interior for a showroom and some repairs and some just putting together of equipment, uh, heavy equipment such as the things that you see on the highway uh, at construction sites. So they'll have large generators, uh, bulldozers, tractors, and um, and they needed, uh, this is in a uh, in an I-2 zone, so they needed a uh, uh, the variance from the Board of Appeals, which we received. Uh, Councilor Neary was with us and in favor of that evening. Um, what we're asking tonight is for a garage license and a motor vehicle repair license. There would be no cars being repaired in this place, um, and we've uh, stipulated with the zoning board that everything will be inside or in the rear. There'll be a display for brand new uh, heavy equipment out front, uh, and everything is, uh, it, you know, this will be an attraction uh, to contractors and heavy equipment operators. I actually ran into a client um, not too long ago that bought a new piece of equipment, and he traveled to the North Shore to get it at their place. So, um, so having something like this down here would be an attraction for uh, contractors and business people. Uh, they're going to in invest several million dollars into uh, this property, uh, including the equipment, and they're, they're uh, dealers for several heavy equipment operators, heavy equipment salespeople, manufacturers uh, throughout the country and Canada. So uh, what we're asking for tonight is a, a garage license and uh, also a motor vehicle repair and mechanic, mechanical license uh, because that's where we get it from the city council. We've already received a class one license from the license commission for new vehicles. Um, and vehicles is sort of an odd concept here. The, we're, we're not, they do register some vehicles have to have a, a, a plate, but most of them travel on a trailer to a site and uh, do their work and then move on. Councilor Ianeri, this is your ward. Yeah, th uh, thank you, Madam President. And um, I have no problem with um, this business coming into Brockton. Matter of fact, I thank you for wanting to come into the city of Brockton to uh, be a part of uh, the growth that we have here and, and what's going on, especially in that area where it's a commercial industrial zoned area. Um, Manly Street naturally, uh, you know, is right close to a lot of uh, uh, dealerships and a lot of other businesses that are that have been coming in over the past few years. So I have no problem with what they're doing. I was there that night when we had the zoning, and uh, I spoke um, uh, of, uh, of the importance of uh, making sure that this, um, uh, these people were able to bring the business because I think it's a, it's a plus for the city. So I'm in favor of it, and I hope that the rest of the city council will be as well. Thank you. 
Is there anyone, anyone else here in favor this evening? Is that portion of the hearing is closed then. Thank you. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and state your name. Okay, the questions on granting the license for a garage license. All those in favor? All those opposed? The license is granted. We have the petition of <clears throat> Giovanni Albanese, 196 Manley Street, LLC, 61 Civil Aid, Drake at Mass, for a <clears throat> motor, motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 196 Bentley Street. In City Clerk's Office, November 21st, 2019, hearing is signed for February 10th, 2020. All paperwork is on file and the fire department has no objections. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please come forward and state your name. Again, Attorney John McCluskey, basically uh, not to repeat what I just said, but it's the same same discussion and same presentation. Thank you, Attorney McCluskey. This is on the motor vehicle repair um, license. <coughs> Councilor Ianeri, do you have anything on this matter? No, I'd, I'd just be re repeating myself, so I don't have a problem with it. Thank you. Councilor Cardoso. Thank you. Um, I just have one question about the repairs. Again, you stated that the repairs were gonna be in the rear of the building. Nothing happening. Uh, There'll be, I don't believe there'll be repairs of the vehicles I outside of the building, but um, it, this is a large building, mm -hmm. like well over 10,000 square feet, and, and they're going to be, in fact, they have to put in a gas trap inside. They have to do all of the things that would comply with, and I've, I've been in, in <coughs> constant contact with the fire department through Deputy Chief Williams discussing all these things. I think in the zoning uh, approval, there was some discussion about you know, they might put something together, a right. non-mechanical thing, mm -hmm. but everything would be uh, up to code and, and uh, repairs would be done inside. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Council Fowler. Uh, uh, Madam Chair, just to the Ward 3 Councilor, any stipulations on this about hours of operation or days of the week, was that ever covered or? I, I, I believe. Uh, I can speak Yeah, that. he can speak on that because he has them. We, we approved them as zoning, is that nice? So we'll in follow the, suit. Uh, in the zoning decision, um, the hours of operation <coughs> Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Saturday, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m., and no Sunday operation. Um, and then, um, I'm sorry, vehicle repairs will only be in the rear of the building. Right. Uh, display inventory will be in front of the property. <clears throat> no dust uh, impact the, uh, the neighbors and we're using reprocessed blacktop. There's a provision in the zoning uh, by uh, ordinance that uh, speaks to having to have blacktop and these machines will chew it up. Uh, moving them around uh, wouldn't be proper to have that uh, kind of a surface. So, and there'll be a fence there and I, I would just ask that when the question comes in granting, we incorporate those stipulations. Second. All those in favor? The stipulations? Question on granting. Thank you. Stipulations. Questions on granting with stipulations? We haven't finished the, the hearing. No, we said when, when they're through. Okay. Once we're through, we'll, we'll vote on the, we'll have that included. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? If not, is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and state your name. If not, I declare this, that portion of the hearing closed. So now the, um, the questions on granting with the stipulations. All those in favor of granting with the stipulations? All those opposed? The license is granted, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of February 3rd, 2020. Accepted and placed on file. We have communication from the mayor stating that effective 8.30 a.m. on January 30th, 2020, Captain Emanuel Gomes has been appointed as acting chief of police for the city of Brockton pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 41, Section 61A. 
accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, 2020 Senator Charles E. Shannon Jr. Community Safety Initiative Grant in the amount of $623,808.04. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. <clears throat> we have, excuse me, from the city auditor certifying that the balance of the supplemental reserve account as of February 3rd, 2020 to be $6,557,616. Accepted and placed on file. City Auditor certifying that the balance of the stabilization fund as of February 3rd, 2020 is $4,913,806.97. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the library director requesting a transfer of $3,000 from the library night differential to library overtime in order to cover unforeseen overtime costs incurred with both library custodians worked overtime for library maintenance. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the acting chief of police requesting the authorization to expend grant monies in the amount of $30,823 related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research Highway Safety Division Fiscal 2020 Sustained Traffic Enforcement Program Grant. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the superintendent of schools requested to file a statement of interest with the Massachusetts School Building Authority, MSBA, for the remodel rehabilitation of the Brockton High School. Accepted and placed on file. A communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO with a conditional certification from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed authorization by the City Council for the submission of the statement of interest only to the Mass School Building Authority dated April 3rd, 2020 for the Brockton High School located at 470 Forest Avenue, Brockton, Mass. The application may be submitted to the MSBA in the future. Brockton High School full renovation and hereby further specifically acknowledges that by submitting this statement of interest form, the MSBA in no way guarantees the acceptance of the approval of an application. The awarding of a grant or any other funding commitment from the MSBA or commits the city of Brockton to filing an application for funding with the MSBA. Furthermore, the city council and mayor should be aware that MSBA regulations indicate that a SOI should not be submitted unless the community has the ability to fund the project within two fiscal years. This will entail appropriating funds for planning and feasibility as well as construction. At the present, these costs are unknown, but in his professional opinion, funding these costs most likely will have a negative impact on continuous provisions of services unless the city obtains a favorable vote on a debt exclusion. Accepted and placed on file. A communication from the Director of Social Services requested that the City Council authorize the amendment to the acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $300,000 from the Department of Public Health Bureau of Addiction Service Substance Abuse Preventative Program Grant to Brockton Mayor's Office Substance Abuse Preventative Program Grant Fund. The goal of this grant is to prevent, reduce opiate overdoses in the region, including Brockton, <coughs> East Bridgewater, Whitman, Hanson, and Rockland. The city will be working with our state grant manager for a strategic plan. The grant is through June, uh, June 30th, 2022, no grant match for the city. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. A communication from the fire chief requesting the accept expenditures of the grant in the total amount of $13,780 
from the Commonwealth of Mass, Executive Office of Public Safety, Fiscal 20 Student and Senior Awareness of Fire Education Grant to City of Brockton Fire Department, Fiscal 20 Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant Fund. $10,655 and to City of Brockton Fire Department's Fiscal 20 Senior Safe Grant Fund, $3,125. The grant funds will be used for the fire safety education. No match is required. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. The CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on we file. We have an order that the sum of $5,457,233 is appropriated to pay various capital costs as set forth, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, to cemetery department $650,000, fire department $1,260,000, information technology total $448,000, water department total $1,126,233, and parks and recreation totaling $1,973,000. In City Council January 27, 2020, passed with third reading by a hand vote. In Council January 13, 2020, Gregory Fair, the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. In City Council January 27, 2020, and passed to a third reading by a hand vote. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Uh, will you read the uh, roll call? Azak? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. The reappointment. Madam President. Madam President, make a motion we take items 28 to 37 collectively. Second. Second. All those in favor of um, taking items 28 through what? 37. 37 collectively. All those opposed? Okay. Please read them collectively. <clears throat> the following reappointment of special police officers of the city of Brockton with a one-year term ending January 2021 for Spencer Benoit, Alicia Fernandez, Jonathan Drain, Michael Gomes, Daniel Campbell, Edelson Andre, Daniel J. Vaughan, Jason Mosley, Kevin Smith, and Julie Marshall. In Council, January 27, 2020, ready for the Standing Committee on Finance. These reports were favorable. The question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mm -hmm. Will the clerk please um, call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is confirmed. Order of acceptance of expenditures of the grant awards any amount of $14,015.80 from the U.S. Department of Justice Fiscal 2019 Bulletproof Vest Program Grant to Brockton Police Department Fiscal 2019 Bulletproof Vest Program Grant Fund. End Council, January 27, 2020. Reading refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cadozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. A transfer of $20,000 from Information Technology Full-Time Salaries, $20,000, to Information Technology Overtime, $18,000, and to Information Technology Out-of-State Travel, $2,000. In City Council, January 27, 2020, Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please read the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. 
audit expenditures and expenditures, acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $275,000 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 2018 Municipal Police Services Staffing Grant, to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 2018 Municipal Police Services Staffing Grant Fund. In Council, January 27, 2020, Ready for the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please read the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. <coughs> Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Ordered the acceptance of expenditures of grant award in the amount of $12,030 from Mass Humanities Grant to Brockton Public Library in Council January 27, 2020. Reading referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please read the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. <clears throat> Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. De Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered that the City Council hereby amend the tax increment exemption agreement between the City of Brockton and 127 Santa Corner LLC to read in Section 4, Subsection A, the base value $423,800. In Council, January 27, 2020, Ready for the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption of a, by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please read the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Valley? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. De Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Ordered a total transfer of $25,195.69 from the Veterans Services Purchase of Services, Other Services, to Veterans Services Personal Services Full-Time Salaries. In Council, January 27, 2020. Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please read the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. De Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered acceptance of expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $623,808.04 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Securities Office of Grants <coughs> and Research 2020 Senator Charles E. Shannon Jr. Community Safety Initiative Grant to Brockton Police Department 2020 Senator Charles E. Shannon Jr. Community Safety Initiative Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Ordered a total transfer of $3,000 from the Library Personal Services non-overtime to Library Overtime. Council Fowler. Madam President, given the amount of money and the reason, move to suspend the rules and Second. act on Second. Second. All those in favor of um, taking this under suspension of the rules. All those opposed? We'll act on this this evening. Madam uh, Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. De Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. <coughs> 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order of acceptance of expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $30,823 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research Highway Safety Division, Fiscal 2020 Sustained Traffic Enforcement Program, STEP Grant, to City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 2020 Sustained Traffic Enforcement Program, Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Order that the City Council authorize the Superintendent to submit to the Mass School Building Authority 
the statement of interest form dated April 3rd, 2020 for the Brockton High School located at 470 Forest Avenue, Brockton, Mass, which describes the deficiencies in the priority categories as delineated on the addendum for which an application may be submitted to the Mass School Building Authority in the future. Brockton High School, full renovations, and hereby further specifically acknowledges that by submitting the statement of interest form, the Massachusetts School Building Authority in no way guarantees the acceptance or approval of the application, the awarding of a grant or any other funding commitment from the Mass School Building Authority, or commits to the city of Brockton to filing an application for funding for the Mass School Building Authority. Refer to finance. We have an order accepting the expenditures of the grant award and the amount of $300,000 for the Department of Public Health, Bureau of Addiction, Service Substan uh, Substance Abuse Preventative Program grant to Brockton Mayor's Office, Substance Abuse Preventative Program grant fund. Refer to finance. We have an order of acceptance and expenditures of the grant award and the amount of $13,780 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Public Safety, Fiscal 20, Student and Senior Awareness of Fire Education Grant. Refer to finance. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Just get that. Check on that, please. Resolved that the City of Brockton recognize the importance of 2020 Census and supports participation in helping to ensure a complete, fair, and accurate count. Refer to finance. Resolved that the Superintendent of the School appear before the City Council to explain the impact of the Student Opportunity Act in the Brockton Public Schools. Refer to finance. Resolved the City of Brockton City Council adopts an official position that such a reduction in services contemplated is not in the best interest of our veterans and urges the Veterans Administration to reconsider its decision to consolidate and eliminate resources on the Brockton VA campus. Further, the Council, by this resolve, communicates to our federal legislative delegation the urgent need to reverse this potentially harmful decision. Refer to finance. This granting was postponed. This okay, so this okay. is the last one. Okay. So this is the last one. Okay. So we're, we're all done. Okay. Okay, counselors, um, that's the end of our agenda. Does anybody have any council clues? Thank you. Just to inform the members of the ordinance committee that the meeting that was originally scheduled for tomorrow night uh, conflicted with the zoning board of appeals, so we've canceled that. And we will be meeting uh, next Wednesday night, February 19th at 6 o'clock here in the council chambers. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Council. Councilor Ian Airy. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I just want to remind those that are on the accounts committee that we have a meeting next Tuesday evening, February 18th. I believe we set the time for 5.30 p.m. We'll be in the council room. That's next Tuesday because Monday is a holiday. So just reminding them and you'll get further information from the auditor uh, before the week is out. Thank you. Councilor Fowler. Madam President, just a reminder that the councilors at large will have their first quarterly meeting this Wednesday, February 12th, 6.30 to 8 p.m. at the Arnon School Theater. The principal speaker will be Superintendent Michael Thomas to talk about the new Student Opportunity Act. However, we have invited the mayor and council president to come in to introduce themselves, and uh, Councilor Cardozo uh, was kind enough to invite the police chief to come in and introduce himself. So uh, I hope those who can join us will do so, and we look forward to the first quarterly meeting. Very good. Is that it, councilors? Uh, before we end this evening, I do have an announcement from Old Colony Planning Council. They have a meeting coming up Tuesday, February 18th. It's um, regarding the Main Street Corridor study. Uh, it's a public meeting, so all are invited. So it's Tuesday, February 18th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Brockton yeah. Public Library, and there will be light refreshments served. With no further business, this meeting is adjourned.